Yeah, hey, alright guys and girls, welcome back to another quick video of the EH01, oh, actually 101, which we, they have here at uh, the Western Supermares uh, Helicopter Museum. And this is a customer training center, GKN Westland Helicopters, Kevlar nose caps, composite glazing structure, forward fairing fix, uh, it's that beanie, fairing, compositive tail, pylon, stabilizer, rear, fusel large, compositive right, sponson, uh, what's that, class, two escape door rear, compartment, cargo door, uh, partition door, top deck structures, and then they've got like a stuff here for uh, this plane. This is the Royal Navy. The Royal Navy Merlin HM Mark 1. And this is, I'm not too sure how many passengers you can probably put onto this one. But I'm sure you can put a lot on there. But as you can see in here, you've got the main bit here at the bottom. So you've got the main sort of, uh, let's, can I focus that in? Yeah, there we go, I think. So you've got the main sort of door just here for the cockpit bit. And then you've got the helicopter front bit here. Which actually looks quite, they've got the tables here for tomorrow because they're doing a sort of uh, special air day, helicopter day or something for helicopters. So you've got this one here. This is actually huge if you look compared to right down to the bottom of this here. This is absolutely huge. Actually, I didn't even notice uh, this was here because I, I actually walked past this. Well, because I, I noticed this here, but I, um, what I was just a minute ago. I was actually right behind here for this helicopter here and I actually didn't notice this big massive one in front right at the back here so this was hidden uh, this looks like one of those ones they would have at sea like a sea rescue Augustus or Augusta Westland EH 101 main rotor blade early development standard oh, so it's a standard and then We've got this little, this must be, um, oh, it's just the Gyrodyne QH-50D was the very first unmanned drone helicopter. As is a drone helicopter. So, um, so that one there is not actually part of this. So this is a whole different thing. And then you've got, uh, this must be the rotor head. But the one at the back, you've got that long piece of the back of the helicopter there. And then you've got a little bit of a wingspan at the back. Wouldn't say it's actually a huge wingspan, but that uh, EH101 is absolutely. These are all helicopters, by the way, in this uh, museum. I'm pretty sure they're all more out of uh, production, all of them. So they're not, uh, not in production no more, I suppose. That's why they've been retired here. So this base is just for all displays and all that. This base here we're at. Um, so it says pull tab exit release. I'll ask when the doors when that to release all the doors and all that at the time just to release the doors to let people out just in case they wouldn't do it. Uh, which is a uh, sliding door that uh, the door carry arms are fully extended and then you've got like a emergency release lock to lock the doors and all that. Got, this is actually massive, they've got like a lot of stuff in here. Wise, um, so it's awesome. But we're just looking at this nice blue coloured sort of helicopter here today. Looks awesome on display. And actually that one at the back there, I don't know if you can uh, zoom in. This little sort of tanned colour, the WG33. That looks like more of, it doesn't look like an actual helicopter, but it is. Um, looks more like a little mini sub or something, submarine. There's actually, there was um, the one at the back, right over the back there, just a minute ago I was looking at. Looks like a uh, submarine actually, there was one at the back. 
I love them, the ones as well, the uh, helicopter, they've got one here. A lot of the back over the other side. Looks like the one from the Predator movies. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, guys and girls, I'm back in a minute.